Hello everyone, in this INR number 33, we are going to discuss another important arrhythmia that is atrial fibrillation, right? So atrial fibrillation, how we will identify them, they will be characterized by rapid atrial rhythm. See, atrial rhythm was also rapid in case of atrial flutter and here also it is rapid. But you can see the number of beats will be high in the fibrillation. So fibrillation, as you can see, the number of alphabet will be more. So number of beats will be also high. So they will be ranging from 350 to 600 beats per minute. Right. And what is the difference? How it differs from the arterial flutter? This will be having irregularly irregular rate. So remember that rate will be irregularly irregular. How you will identify when you will see the RR interval? RR interval, when you see that RR interval, you can see they are all having different, different values. They are not same. They are not same. They are not same. So that is why we all say irregularly irregular rate and absent P waves. Remember in flutter it was having sawtooth, but here there are no P waves, right? So there are no P waves. So this is how we are going to identify atrial fibrillation. Rhythm will be 350 to 600 beats per minute, irregularly irregular rate and there will be no P waves. Right? So whenever you will see the ECG of atrial fibrillation, what you will find? Irregularly irregular rhythm. Right? So we are seeing irregularly irregular rhythm and they will be having unequal RR distances. So you can see as I said unequal RR distances. If you look at them, they are not equal to each other. Right? Unequal RR distances between the beats and irregular baseline with absent P wave. So you can see that irregular baseline is there and there is the no P wave. Right? So how it has started so from where this arrhythmia will be starting so arrhythmia will originate from the automatic foci near the pul pulmonary vein ostia in the left atrium so now you can see this is the left atrium right left atrium and these are the pulmonary vein osteas right and around the pulmonary vein ostia you can see they will be having origin so this is going to cause abnormal activation of the atria and that is why we are seeing irregularly irregular rhythm RR interval is not equal and baseline is also irregular right so there is no P wave so this is how we are going to identify atrial fibrillation so what will be the treatment of the fibrillation so first of all we have to remember what are the risk factor so risk factor for atrial fibrillation is the hypertension and coronary artery disease this is very important because when patient of hypertension will come you have to keep that in mind that atrial fibrillation can be risk in this so what will happen they will be predisposing to the thromboembolic events so patient may be having risk for the stroke right so this patient will be having risk for the stroke so what should be the management management will be rate and rhythm control so how we are going to control the rate and rhythm by cardioversion right so cardioversion will be used for the rate and rhythm control but remember the definitive treatment in this also we have to do the ablation of the pulmonary vein right so that electric impulse ablation will be done at the pulmonary vein that is the important thing and if you are suspecting a stroke so you have to consider anticoagulation based on the stroke risk so keep revising this topic best wishes for your exam